This is Catherine from Vive Catherine. I'm here at Bookends in Ridgewood, New Jersey to speak with author and food expert Allison Fishman about her book, You Can Trust a Skinny Cook. <laughs> Allison, so what was your inspiration for writing You Can Trust a Skinny Cook? I've been teaching cooking classes for the last 10 years, and everyone wants to learn how to cook, but they're afraid, they're almost afraid to cook too well. So I wanted to help people cook delicious food that would be good for you too. What is your favorite recipe in the book? Well, right now, summer's here, it's getting warm, and I'm in love with this gazpacho. Um, it's something that I can make in about 10 minutes. It's very simple, make it in the blender, and it'll keep in the fridge all week. So if I want a nice, cool, refreshing soup, something besides a salad to start a meal, Gazpacho. <laughs> what cooking advice do you have for busy moms? Oh, th this is something I've been thinking about a lot. I just became a stepmother, and so I've taken on motherhood recently. Don't try and cook more than three dinners a week. Your other nights can be leftovers. They can be someone else cooking. Um, but don't, don't give yourself the pressure. Make three meals and enjoy making them. When did you know you wanted to pursue a culinary career? Um, I worked it in dot-com for about 10 years, and during that time, I worked hard, I ate out a lot, I put on a lot of weight, um, and I said, there's got to be a better way. I, I had good business skills, but I didn't have the skills to take care of myself, and I knew there were other women like me out there um, who weren't eating healthy and weren't cooking, so I said, send me to cooking school. Tell me about your business, um, The Wooden Spoon. Um, the Wooden Spoon is a, it's a great business. I've been teaching cooking classes for many years um, in New York City and around the country, but when I teach professional cooking classes, people say, I won't be able to do this at home. So I started the Wooden Spoon so that people could have a chef come into their home and show them on their equipment, using their knives and their cutting boards and their kitchen, how to make terrific food. So tell me what we have here today. Ooh. This is the fun stuff. Well, let's start over here. So first is kale chips. This is one of my favorites. So three ingredients, kale, oil, salt. Um, the game with these is how do you turn a, a leaf into something crispy and delicious? Put a little oil on them, a little bit of salt, cook them slow and low. They're incredible. Everyone's been coming over this morning and trying them. I would eat one, but I don't want to get kale in my teeth right now. But crispy, crunchy. Here, listen to this. Right? Amazing. Exactly. Uh, That's what you want. That's what fresh. you want. Fresh without deep frying. Good salt, good oil, delicious. This is the gazpacho. Um, this takes about 10 minutes to make in a blender. Right now we're in May, so we don't have beautiful fresh tomatoes. Canned tomatoes are perfect. A little jalapeno, a little cucumber, and I skip the bread. Usually bread is used to thicken it. Skip it, instead put in olive oil for, for flavor. Delicious. Mm. These are Parmesan twists. This is, uh, you, this is real simple to make four ingredients. Um, a box of puff pastry that you can get in the freezer section for about three bucks. Um, a little Parmesan, a little paprika, and a little egg wash. You take it, brush it on, and give it a little twist, pop it in the oven for about 18 minutes. Very simple, something to have. If you have something like puff pastry in the house, when guests come over, you can have a cool hors d'oeuvre very simply. This, oh, let's go over here. This is romesco. I just put it on a pita chip. Romesco sauce is one of my favorites. It's roasted red peppers and almonds with a little bit of olive oil. You will, touch, you will taste that and it's like this vivid, vivid flavor, which is a big part of my cookbook. How do you deliver good flavor, simply, easy to make, few ingredients, but bang, right? You want that hit of flavor. And lastly, these are uh, lemon curd tartlets. I made mini tart shells, graham cracker shells. And the lemon curd is something that seems hard to make. Um, it's not, it's dairy free. I made this with eggs, lemon juice, lemon zest, sugar, and cornstarch. Four ingredients, very simple. And they're all beautiful, the colors, and it brings a lot of um, just wonderful smells right now. It's all <laughs> I can really smell is the gazpacho, and, um, but just absolutely amazing and incredible how, you know, it's done so quickly and it looks great and mm -hmm. it's healthy. So thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for watching. Stop by Bookends to buy a copy of You Can Trust a Skinny Cook. Please visit us at www.vivecaterine.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.